All initial opinions are this is genuine. What you're about to see may disturb you. We aren't supposed to exist. <laughs> Being white is a genetic mutation. <laughs> And we are back. It's that time again. We're back. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I hope you're all having an amazing day. And of course, in that very first TikTok, it was a white college age liberal female that said whites aren't even supposed to exist. We're a genetic mutation. Of course. Of course. Anyway, thank you guys so much for coming back. All I have to say is strap that seatbelt on, hold on tight, because it's going to get real bumpy once again in today's episode of Epic Woke TikTok Fails. TikTok mm. is degenerate trash. Uh, Correct. <laughs> sure is. <clears throat> Excuse me, I cannot wait for that t-shirt to come out. I don't wear it every day. Anyway, before we get started... Just want to give a quick shout out to the sponsor of today's video, Jessica Burchill. Thank you so much, Jessica, for sponsoring today's video. If you want to sponsor the next video, there is a PayPal link in the description. If you want to support the channel, I will read your name in the next video as the sponsor of that of that said video. Um, if you don't want me to read your full name, just leave a note. No problem at all. Anyway, Jessica Burchill, thank you so, so much for sponsoring today's video. Also, guys, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Join this amazing community, the greatest community on the YouTubes. We got to keep trying to fight that algorithm. You guys are doing amazing. So if you like the video, leave it a thumbs up. You guys, do the best. Lighten that comment section up. Share this video out. We got to show people what's really going on out there. Like this guy, for example. Let's talk about him for a quick second. He's got a, what, a water bottle on his head. Seems like the opening, there's, a, there's an opening in the top, and you can pour stuff down in it. This looks like it kind of be fun to mess with the guy. Walk by him and drop a bunch of pennies in that open hole or something. Don't watch him. Uh, I'm just kidding. And I don't, I don't know what country this is. You can see on the wall of the bus or train or whatever that is that it's some kind of writing that I don't understand. So uh, let's jump into the TikToks. All right. This looks. This should be interesting. And listen, guys. One more thing. Hit the thumbs up. A thousand likes in today's video. The next video I do will be helmetless. All right. I'll take the helmet off. I'll do a whole video without the helmet. You guys can see what's going on under here. If it's bald, if it's gray, if it, if I got a purple, pink, and orange like the people in the videos. So hit that thumbs up. Roll the film, please. Conservatives are so obsessed with ensuring that black and brown people stay disenfranchised that they are willing to completely destroy America's public education system. In conservative states, it is currently illegal to mandate masks in schools during a global pandemic. This means that when white kids get sick and die from COVID, It'll be easy to convince people that we should stop funding those damn public schools and start funneling money into private ones. Hey, where are the white women at? I'm not racist. Every Martin Luther King Day, I order a cup of dark roast. <laughs> Never ceases to amaze me the things that come out of these people's mouths. <laughs> Moving right along. Get out your pad and paper, your pen and paper, whatever you've been writing all these words. We got a new one for the new language that we'll all be speaking soon. Fray, fray section. I don't. Roll the film, please. I'm fray sexual. I'm attracted until there's a connection. Once it's gone, I'm in a state of perplexion, part of the asexual spectrum. I'm not flexing. I'm fray sexual. I'm Michael Jordan. Stop it. Get some help. Yeah, a lot, a lot of help, a lot of help. Anyway, this person, they didn't even really know what they were saying because if you noticed, she just kept looking down at what she wrote down, that lyrics to that amazing song she just sang. Um, I think if that's ex what she, you know, if that's what she was, she wouldn't have to read lyrics off a... Of... <sighs> Moving right along. 
wonder what's going to come out of her mouth. It says, the comment says, I love how real you are in truly acknowledging the truth about your country and how they're seen abroad. Okay. Roll the film, please. I'm just over here trying to keep it real. Anyone who is bold enough to make the claim that the United States of America is the greatest country in the world is either uncultured, straight up ignorant, or has never left the continental U.S. And if they have left the U.S., it's probably to a very touristy, all-inclusive type of place where they're not actually experiencing the culture or they're on a seven-day cruise with a bunch of other Americans. Anyone who has actually done some real traveling, moved abroad, um, immersed themselves in other cultures, uh, or has more than two brain cells can tell you that the United States of America is not the greatest country in the world. And, and that's just straight fact. You need to shut the fuck up. <laughs> and it's truly mind-blowing that these people hate this country, they hate the flag, Yet they stay. They stay and they reap all the benefits of living in the greatest country in the world. Just leave. Just, just, if it's that bad, just leave. Just leave. Bye-bye. 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 Okay? Bye-bye. 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 Bye. That's it. If you've... Immerse yourself in all these other great countries all over the world, greater than the U.S. See ya. Moving right along. Sorry, I got a little heated, but nothing drives me more crazy than these people that just hate this country. They're the ones destroying it, yet they won't leave it for the people that love it. All right. Uh, yeah. Roll the film, please. You know what? I know I'm a cis woman, and I know that, like, my my opinion should be taken very lightly. I'm just saying. But, as an ally, I want to say this. I am totally down with neo pronouns such as pizza, pizza self, kitten, kitten self. Simply because, like, if you ask me to call you by pizza, pizza, kitten self, you know, whatever, then I'm gonna try my best to respect that, because... What else do I call you? I'd just be plain out, like, disrespecting you if I went by they, them, because that's not what you want to be referred as. And I know people are going to be like, well, it, that ju it just doesn't work that way in the real world and stuff like that. But it's like, why do we have to work within those boundaries? You know what I mean? Like, why do we have to, like, adjust ourselves for how other people are going to react? If you feel comfortable with being pizza or being kitten, you know what I mean? Like, kittens aren't sexual. Do it. I love no, you don't what want the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> well, I mean, we kind of know what she was talking about. She all but came right out and said it. Wow. The land of make-believe. Listen, she said it herself when she said that she knows she'll get blowback for calling someone pizza self or kitten self or... What the fuck is happening? Um, oh, that's not how it works in the real world, but yeah, yeah. Bingo! Nailed it! You're absolutely right! Moving right along! Alright, we can't... It's only been one day, so we can't let this whole video go by without taking at least one dig at Governor Andy Cuomo. Almost soon to be ex-Governor Andy Cuomo. And this is uh, kind, of, not, kind of a public figure, blue check mark, so it's, I don't mind putting the name out there. Like, she does all these songs and dances. So this is Missy Modell, at Missy Modell. So I'm going to move my big head. Check this out. This was from last year. I'm just going to play a quick clip of it because I think this is in another one of my videos from a while ago. Andrew, I'm so into you. All right. You guys see that? You hear that? We'll play it one more time for the people in the back in case you didn't. Now listen and look at the laptop. Roll the film, please. Andrew. A few moments later. <laughs> there you have it. Missy Modell. What a difference a year makes. My heart goes out to all the victims with Governor Andy Cuomo of New York said he's resigning. These people are... I don't want to get in trouble today. Moving right along. Up next, our teacher feature of the day. This is our teacher feature. This is getting really scary. 
way too many of these. Roll it. So I just finished the first day back to school. High school, English teacher, right? This is my intro activity where the kids like go around and snoop around my room and like write down observations and then come up with a teacher bio, like making assumptions about me and stuff. And then I ask for these um, and confirm or deny their suspicions. And so this one kid was like not so sure about saying his, um, but I was like, no, like it's fine. I give you full permission to like judge me and make assumptions. Obviously, it's the only time I'll do that. Um, and he was like, well, um, are you lesbian? And I was like, wait, what gave it away? What? What gave it away? Scary gay, scary gay, scary gay. Stop! What the hell is wrong with you people? <laughs> a lot, a lot. Okay, she's got the rainbow earrings in. No problem with that. If you want to wear the cool, that's fine. You want to paint your finger? Oh, cool. I mean, I think in school settings, there should be, you know, dress codes, whatever. But I I'm 100% against having that flag in that classroom. And it's not against anybody. It just doesn't need to be with a teeth kid. Once again, I'll shut my mouth and keep it moving. <laughs> Get ready for some super beta male energy here, little needle dick. Um... If you made it this far, uh, sorry guys, this is a tough one today. If you made it this far, we are just about done. Give yourselves a round of applause, a pat on the back. You guys know I can't do this alone, so thank you so much for trudging ahead. Whew. All right. Okay, I'm in this diversity, equity, and inclusion training, and I just learned the coolest thing. Oh, I'm sure you did, Mr. Peabody. Roll it. Okay, I'm in this diversity, equity, and inclusion training, and I just learned about the coolest thing. This is our men talking too much .com, and you can track whether or not a dude or not a dude is owning too much of the conversation. Use this tool wisely and bring back balance to the shared voice of the meeting. <laughs> Man, you are one pathetic loser. <laughs> what an idiot! Oh, what a loser! Did you guys get that? There's an app that tracks if there's a man talking or not a man talking. And if the man's talking too much, it tells you. So this guy says you can bring back balance to the rest of the room and let women talk. <sighs> Moving right along. I hope you guys didn't put away your uh, pen and pencil, notebook, paper. I forgot to let you know, don't put it away yet. We got one more word to learn today that's going into the new speak. Uh, this will be the last video. I know I can't take any more. I don't think you guys can take much more either. Roll the film, please. Sapiosexual is attraction to, um, like, connecting intellect, almost. Um, it's all about intellect, the brain, and stuff like that. Um, I don't like people for their gender. Like, I really, truly, it doesn't matter. Um boy, girl, transgender, they, them, I don't give a fuck. But if we have that emotional, not even emotional, intellectual connection, like, mm -hmm. can I talk to you about my fun facts? And will you know what I'm talking about? I'm gonna hide. So like, I'm not explaining it the best. But yeah, it's into, it's intellectual brain, brain connection. And that's what I'm here for. Land of make the That is without a doubt the dumbest thing I've ever heard. You are a fucking idiot. Sapiosec, that's the newest one. Sapio, S A P I O, sapiosexual. This person started giving themselves a headache, started beating on their own head, like, just like I did. That's a wrap. They still really want to drop some crickets or something down in the top hole of this guy's water bottle <laughs> anyway thank you guys so much if you made it this far i cannot do this alone if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button become a part of the greatest community on the youtube you guys are all so amazing you guys' comments is what keeps me motivated keeps me inspired gives me hope gives me faith we're in this together and listen i appreciate all the engagement that you guys with the thumbs up with the comments the sharing hopefully we can beat this algorithm i don't know if that's possible but we're not going to give up. We're not going to give up, guys. So thank you so, so much. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Till next time. Peace.